Today we're shooting portraits with the Fujifilm X-T5 and the Fujinon 56mm f1.2. This is equivalent to an 85mm. We're out here with Meg, who is our model for today. I did get this camera sent to me by Fujifilm, so I have it for about a month. I'm gonna test it out, shoot some portraits with it. I'm here too. Anthony's here too. Anthony's gonna be recording the BTS. But yeah, let's see. Um, this is my first time shooting with the Fujifilm, so let's test it out. If you come over here, just in the shade here. Hold on, I need to find out if it has eye detect autofocus. Cause I need that, oh right there, face detection on eye auto. Okay, that's face detection autofocus. Yeah, hold that there. Oh, that looks so good. Look this way. Yeah, these are clean, holy. Yeah, let's do it right here though. Oh yeah, this looks good here. Buttery. Let me show you real quick. Oh, oh wow. That I looks like this so one. good. I do want to get you like a half shadow on your face and half not, so I'm thinking if you yeah, tilt this way tilt this way yeah we sort of get it and then maybe just like tilt your head back a little bit so that we don't get the eyelash shadows so the photos you guys are going to see on the screen here are some with a fujifilm recipe that i just made really quickly and i'll also throw up some of the raw photos edited with my portrait preset pack which is just amazing the edits are so good and i've been using them for all of my portraits recently. Definitely go check it out. Link will be in my description. Yeah, hold that right there. I'm gonna switch to the 35 or to 23 millimeter, 35 millimeter equivalent. Overall, the camera felt pretty good in my hands. The menus were super easy to navigate. It was a little annoying trying to flip out the screen. I'm used to an articulating screen and not a tilt screen. It's kind of hard to get used to, but honestly, that's just because I'm so used to articulating screens. If I own this Fuji for three months, six months, I'm sure I would get the hang of it. Crazy. Want big want small? We want small so we can fit it. Hold that there. Look this way. Do you want to do some off the court over there and the, get some greens behind you? I'm not liking the, the bokeh on this. How do I, it's a little weird. Let me switch to the 85. Oh, now the bokeh is like, yeah, hold that there. Look towards the basketball court there, yeah. Let's just move off to the side so the tree's not in the way. And I honestly think I want to get some of the pink in the background. So if you... Now, one of the things that caught me by surprise and one of the things that I really love about this camera is that this was an extremely bright day. And when shooting in situations like this, I usually need an ND filter because most cameras like my a7 IV max out at a shutter speed of one over 8,000. The crazy thing about this Fujifilm X-T5, it maxes out at one over 180,000 on the electronic shutter, which is absolutely insane and something I haven't seen on any other cameras. So I was shooting an aperture priority and if we take a look at the metadata of this photo, it took this photo with a shutter speed of 110,000. So sometimes the autofocus doesn't wanna Detect her eye. There we go. Turn that way maybe, and just over the shoulder. Yeah, like that. That far arm up, 
messing around with your hair, yeah. First impressions on this XT5. It's really, really fast. Like the, the auto focusing, everything's fast. I noticed that sometimes it has a little bit of trouble like detecting the, the autofocus detecting the eye. So first time using a Fuji with an interchangeable lens. I just got the X100F two weeks ago. That one has a fixed lens. This is the first time actually doing like a portrait session with this. I haven't had much like practice with the settings or anything with it. And so far it's really, really good. Like it's super easy. The menus are easy. Very simple camera. I like it. It's small, comfortable, lighter weight than the full frame. It's nice. I like Fuji though. <laughs> I didn't like the bokeh on the 35 though. It looks a little weird. Yeah. With full frame, you get shallower depth of field. So like your bokeh is gonna be better on a full frame. The bokeh is not as good. And you can tell because of its APS-C. But let's, uh, let's continue shooting some photos here. Man, I really like that basketball court, but I think I, we overdid it there. Tilt your head down a little bit. There we go, perfect. Hmm. Look this way. Same thing, just that arm there, extend it, and then that one can be yeah, like that. I'm gonna do a... I have to get used to this flippy screen. Oh, hold that right there. Okay, so we'll get some shots of you walking down the stairs. I'll throw this into continuous autofocus and we're good to go. Let's hit it. So I wanted to take these walking photos down the stairs here to really test out the camera's autofocusing capabilities, see if it sticks on our subject and tracks our subject. I switched it into continuous autofocus and yeah, there's a good two shots. Yeah, I missed focus a little bit on some of them. I think honestly, it just might be my settings. Like I don't really know how to set it. Let's try again, hit it. It still wasn't really performing that well. It's not tracking, give me one second. I think I figured it out. I have to use back button focus, so let's try again. I actually had to go into my settings and change the tracking sensitivity, and then I also had to use back button autofocus. And after I did that, I was able to nail focus on almost every shot. Oh yeah, every single one's in focus now. See where the shadow Stop. ends of this tree? There. Just, yeah, your face a little bit more. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, just so you're a little brighter than the background. Yeah, like that, perfect. If you were to ask me if I recommend this camera, I honestly couldn't give you a solid answer. I really enjoy the camera. I've enjoyed shooting with it. However, I haven't really tested the camera out, tested all of its video features and all of its photo features to really know how good this camera is. This is the first time me taking it out and it was kind of a learning session for me. I will be creating a video in a week or two once I take this camera out more and more, once I get more familiar with it to give you a solid review if I actually recommend this camera. So far, if you are a portrait photographer or you're looking for a good camera for portraits, this seems like a great option. Do the uh, arms up again, Meg. Oh, look at all the pigeons on the roof, eh? All day with the Fujifilm X-T5, we were shooting for, what, like six hours? No. About six hours. Battery life is good. They only sent me one battery and it's still, it's about three quarters of the way dead. Three quarter, only a quarter. We only burned through a quarter of the battery. Overall, I like the camera. I always said that I wouldn't switch to APS-C after going full frame. And this camera honestly makes me want to switch to APS-C. If I were to switch to APS-C, this would be the camera that I would go with or any, any Fuji. I feel like they kind of perfected 
the APS-C game because that's really all they, they make. The camera's super comfortable, very, very lightweight like APS-C cameras should be. The Bokeh, when I was shooting with the 35 millimeter, it wasn't as creamy or as, as out of focus as the 35-1.4 on like a full frame camera. I think it's because it is APS-C. I only ran into one issue with the camera and that was when I was shooting in single shot autofocus. The autofocus was, it, it's not really an issue, it's just maybe I'm too spoiled with the Sony that it was having a hard time tracking and I had to switch it into continuous even though my subject wasn't moving. Whereas when I'm shooting with the Sony, that's not really the case. I can keep it in single shot autofocus. If my subject isn't moving, it's gonna track their face, their eyes. This kind of had a little hard time doing it. I switched into continuous autofocus and it fixed the issue. But overall, really enjoyed the camera. Love the film simulations, the photos that come out of it. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one. Like too tall. You gotta give me, I'm too tall. <laughs> yeah, you're too tall. Oh no. <laughs> Crouch for you. <laughs> your eyes. That's what, this is the best. That one's my favorite. That one was a good candid one, you know? You need a good candid shot. This See, right look. Here. Actually, this one is a profile photo. Right look at that!